in this video we are going to discuss about regular graph complete graph bipartite graph complete bipartite graph as well as cyclic graph first let us discuss about regular graph it is a simple graph in which every vertex has the same degree so regular graph is nothing but a simple graph so simple graph means that graph doesn't contain any parallel edges as well as self loops in which every vertex has the same degree so regular graph means the degree of every vertex must be same it may be 2 or 3 or 4 next if every vertex in a regular graph has degree k then that graph is called as k regular graph so k regular graph means the degree of every vertex is k now let's see examples on two regular graph three regular graph four regular graph so two regular graph means the degree of every vertex is 2 three regular graph means the degree of every vertex is 3 four regular graph means the degree of every vertex is 4 so if you see this example so the degree of v1 is we know about what is a degree so degree means the number of edges associated with that vertex so v1 has two edges v2 has two edges v3 has two edges so the degree of every vertex in this graph is 2 so that's why this is called as two regular graph so in this graph also so the degree of every vertex is 2 so this is also an example for two regular graph so likewise we can have plenty of examples next if you take three regular graph if you see this one the degree of every vertex is 3 the degree of every vertex is 3 so if you see here so this is also an example for the three regular graph why because if you consider v1 then v1 is associated with v2 v5 and v4 three edges we have so the degree of every vertex in this graph is also 3 so that's why these two are the examples for three regular graph and this is an example for four regular graph so this is nothing but a complete graph of five vertices if you see here from 1 2 2 we have an edge 1 2 4 we have an edge 1 2 5 we have an edge 1 2 3 we have an edge so every vertex is associated with four edges if you take 5 so 5 2 1 5 2 2 5 2 3 5 2 4 so the degree of every vertex in this graph is 4 so that's why this is an example for the four regular graph now let us discuss about complete graph it is a simple graph in which there is exactly one edge between each pair of distinct vertices so a complete graph is nothing but simple graph only so we know about simple graph it doesn't contain any parallel edges as well as it doesn't contain any self loops here we should have exactly one edge between each pair of different vertices so that means if you take a graph with four vertices then from vertex 1 2 remaining three vertices we should have edges from vertex 2 2 remaining three vertices we should have edges here distinct vertices means different vertices so from vertex 1 2 remaining three vertices we should have edges vertex 1 2 vertex 1 so that means the self loops are not possible so that's why we are using the word distinct different vertices so 1 2 1 there is no edge vertex 2 2 vertex 2 there is no edge self loops are not allowed here so next point a complete graph with n vertices has n into n minus 1 by 2 edges so if there are n vertices in the complete graph then totally we will have n into n minus 1 by 2 edges now let's see various examples here complete graph is denoted by k so here k1 means a complete graph with only one vertex so here one means this graph contains only one vertex so k2 means a complete graph with two vertices k3 means a complete graph with three four three vertices likewise with four vertices with five vertices also we are drawing some diagrams so this is the complete graph with only one vertex okay here we have only one vertex okay let, let us uh, let us see the formula what is the formula here 
n into n minus 1 by 2 edges. Here what is n value? 1. So 1 into 1 minus 1 means 0. So 1 into 0 means 0 by 2 is nothing but 0 edges. This graph does not contain any edges. Next a, a complete graph with only 2 vertices. So here we have only 2 vertices. So from V1 to V2 we have an edge. From V2 to V1 we have an edge. Next a complete graph with 3 vertices. So V1, V2, V3. From V1 to V2, V3 we have an edge. From V2 to V1, V3 we have an edge. From V3 to V1, V2 we have an edge. If you see the formula, what is the formula here? 3 into 3 minus 1 means 2 by 2. If we cancel 2, 2, then 3 edges. If you see here, this graph contains 3 edges. Next, this is nothing but K4, a complete graph with 4 vertices. So from vertex 1, 2, vertex 2, vertex 3, vertex 4, we have edges. From vertex 2, 2, 1, 3, 4, we have edges. From 3, 2, 1, 2, 4. From 4, 2, 1, 2, 3. If you see the formula, so 4 into 4 minus 1 means 3. So 4 into 3 by 2. That is nothing but 12 by 2. So 12 by 2 is nothing but 6 edges. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Totally we have 6 edges. So this is very, very important. A complete graph with 5 vertices. So here we have 5 vertices. So from V1 to V2, V3, V4, V5 we have an edge. Next to from V2 to V1, V3, V4, V5 we have an edge. From V3 to V1, V2, V4, V5, we have an edge. So, how, how to draw this graph? So, it is very, very simple to, to draw this graph. So, V1, V2, next to V3, next to V4, V5. So, first to draw the outer structure like this. Outer structure. Next, a triangle like this. A triangle like this. Next, a, an edge from V2 to V3. Next, draw like this. So, if you see the number of edges, so here totally here the order is totally we have 5 vertices. So 5 into 5 minus 1 means 4. 5 into 4 means 20. So 20 by 2 means 10. If you see here we have 10 edges. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next to 6, 7. 6. Uh, next to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So totally we have how many edges? 10 edges. So this is about complete graph. Now let us discuss about cyclic graph which is denoted by Cn, where n is greater than or equal to 3. So, n value may be either 3 vertices or greater than 3 vertices. n means number of vertices. A cyclic graph is a simple graph with n vertices, such as V1, V2, so on, Vn, and edges such as V1 to V2, V2 to V3, V3 to Vn, so let there are 5 vertices, then V3 to V4, V4 to V5, likewise. Next, Vn minus 1 to Vn, so its previous vertex to that vertex we will have an edge. So if n value is 10, then we will have an edge from V9 to V10. Next, from Vn comma Vn means, Vn comma V1 means from first vertex to last vertex, we will have some edge. We know that we know about what is a cycle. Cycle is a path which starts and ends at same vertex. A cyclic graph contains n vertices and n edges. The degree of every vertex in the cyclic graph is 2. So, this is an example for C3, cyclic graph with 3 vertices, C4, cyclic graph with 4 vertices, C5, cyclic graph with 5 vertices. So, V1 to V2 we have an edge, V2 to V3 we have an edge, V3 to V1 we have an edge. So, here we can traverse from V1 to V2, V2 to V3, V3 to V1. So, this is nothing but a cycle which starts and ends at the same vertex. What is one more point? A cyclic graph contains n vertices and n edges. So, here what is here? Here we have three vertices. So, here we have three vertices as well as three edges. And the degree of every vertex in the cyclic graph is 2. If you see here, the degree of V1 is 2. The degree of V2 is 2, likewise. Next, this is nothing but cyclic graph with 4 vertices. So, V1 to V2 we have an edge. V2 to V3 we have an edge. V3 to V4 we have an edge. V4 to V1 we have an edge. So, here the cyclic graph, if you take any vertex, the path starts and ends at same vertex. V4 to V1 we can travel. V1 to V2 we can traverse. V2 to V3, V3 to V4. So, in this path, 
it is starting and ending at the same vertex okay and a cyclic graph contains n vertices and n edges so here we have four so four vertices we have and four edges we have and if you observe here the degree of every vertex is 2 so likewise this is nothing but c5 so cyclic graph with five vertices so v1 to v2 v2 to v3 v3 to v4 v5 v4 to v5 v5 to v5 we have an edge so we have five vertices as well as five five edges and the degree of every vertex is 2 so this is about cyclic graph now let us discuss about bipartite graph it is an undirected graph whose set of vertices can be partitioned into two disjoint sets such as m and n in such a way that each edge joins a vertex in m to a vertex in n and no edge joins either two vertices in m or n so let's see the explanation so bipartite graph means the given graph is partitioned into two disjoint sets so let v is equal to v1 comma v2 comma v3 comma v4 comma v v5 comma v6 so here the graph totally contains six vertices then the six vertices can be divided into two disjoint sets the first set is m the second set is n what is a disjoint set there is no common element between the two sets so here m means the first two vertices n means the second two vertices the remaining three vertices so this is m so v1 v2 v3 and what is n n means v4 v5 v6 then we will have an edge from vertex of m to vertex of n so then we will have an edge from v1 to v4 we will have an edge from v1 to v5 we will have an edge from v2 to v6 we will have an edge from v3 to v6 but there is no edge between the vertices of m or no edge between the vertices of n so from v1 to v2 there is no edge from v2 to v3 there is no there is no edge v5 to v6 there is no edge so this is called as bipartite graph so if you see here it is an undirected graph whose set of vertices can be partitioned into two disjoint sets m and n in such a way that each edge joins a vertex in m to a vertex in n and no edge joins either two vertices in m or two vertices in n so this is about bipartite graph now let's see the last one that is complete bipartite graph so complete bipartite graph is nothing but it is a combination of bipartite graph and complete graph so here also the vertices are divided into two disjoint sets but but there is an edge from every vertex of m to every vertex of n in bipartite graph so here we have 1 2 3 4 we have only four edges but in complete bipartite graph so v1 v2 v3 so this is first set next v4 v5 v6 this is second set so from vertex v1 to v4 v1 to v5 v1 to v6 next v2 to v4 v2 to v5 v2 to v6 v3 to v4 v3 to v5 v3 to v6 we should have edges so complete bipartite graph means from every vertex of set m to every vertex of n we will have edges but here the edges are optional it is our choice we can write any number of edges as we want this is called as k33 complete bipartite graph let's see that point if m contains n vertices n contains n vertices m means this top set n means this bottom set then the complete bipartite graph is denoted by km comma n so km comma n means yeah if you take if let m value is n n value is 3 then the first set contains three vertices second set contains two vertices now let us draw one more diagram k23 so what is k23 so here the first set will contain two vertices second set will contain three vertices so first set to two vertices second set three vertices so complete bipartite so this k23 means it is complete bipartite graph 
a complete bipartite graph is denoted by k m comma n so already we have seen uh, cyclic graph cyclic graph is denoted by c n next already we have seen complete graph complete graph is denoted by k n whereas k m comma n means it is a complete bipartite graph complete bipartite graph so this set contains two vertices the second set contains three vertices so from every vertex of first set to two, every vertex of set to two, we should have edges so this is about uh, what is a uh, various types of graphs regular graph cyclic graph bipartite graph complete bipartite graph and complete graph please uh, like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching